beautiful people hello best friends and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here my name is emma karimi karimi emma zote nizangu and karibu sana if you are a returning subscriber wewe sa kwa ni my best friend squad you know anyway tusongea wengine wenye wamekuja wapya hapa space ya mbele and today i want to do something new something that i want to start it's a series i want to start is makeup classes for beginners i am not a professional makeup artist i'm not certified but i believe through youtube you can also learn to do your makeup and without further ado without further ado let's get into the video maximum 200 bob depending on where you're going to buy them and depending on the kama ni original ama ni counterfeit but i bought mine at one enye ninunua zikuwa a packet no maana niko na media hanga i have a lot of them and you also need a concealer that is the same color of the skin tone for me the color espresso the pro conceal color espresso because well is me and you will for contouring you will need a concealer that is one shade darker for me the color coco black black coco dark coco yes dark coco in from concealer and let me show you my first type of concealer this it's, it's the third i can't remember perfect concealer m and m i don't know it's a stiff concealer i'll show you the different types of head for my foundation i use the fit me foundation there are different types of foundations and I will talk about them later on but you need a foundation that is exactly the same color and how do you test the color of your concealer and your, your foundation you, will, you have to go to a beauty place where they allow you to test your concealer and your foundation colors now they have to take a little bit and just apply a strip here and also you have an alicia and your skin tone you might not get this one, this one is okay and it is in a form the full coverage in a shika so a little goes a long way for this type of foundation you can't use a beauty blender a beauty blender slows you down you will need a foundation brush short and dense you will need that one that is what works perfectly with this type of foundation if you are a beginner and you are not using that type of foundation you will need a beauty blender Mine are dirty, <laughs> this is what I'm talking about, and they are bruised when they are done. Other brushes that you need, I have this, it's a blush brush. Hey. It's a blush brush, this one. It's fluffy. You can get these fluffy brushes in different densities. Imoja ya powder, ingina ya blush, ingina ya kontiwa, ya bronze. Now, if you want to try eyeshadow looks, you need an eyeshadow palette but for the beginner i would like you to start with the most neutral colors this was my first eyeshadow palette i still use it up to today in makeup for some years and i am making it's good it's the miss rose professional makeup eyeshadow palette and i remember this one came with this cutting applicator it's okay to use this but you need to advance because after okay move to brushes this one is very hard to use i use this for shimmers today but if you want to buy a brush kuna kuna different types of brushes according to their shapes you know he i fanani na he na he pia i fanani na ingine zingine niko nazo mingi they have different shapes now brushes is the best stress. Brushes comes come in sets. Na unaweza nuno hivyo ama peke yake individually whatever the, any means that works for you. Ni sawa hata kama ukipa pesa. Wewe ni sawa. Ni sawa hadi kama utaenda kwa baba kama huyu. Wewe ni sawa. Wewe bora upate brushes for powders. There is setting powder and there is compact powder. Setting powder for me I use the Sacha Buttercup setting powder it works very well for my type of skin tone that is brown it's this one setting powder is loose powder it's used to set your makeup after you're done and there's also this one the compact powder 
this. You also use to finish up your look. Let me show you how it looks. Yeah. This one. No. And I don't advise you to use the applicator that comes with it. Use a fluffy powder brush. Yes, makeup brush. I forgot something. You have to have a primer. For me, I use the Kiss Beauty primer and there are also different types of primers according to your skin type. I use this one, it's the silicone base primer and it works for me. It's at me, my mom bought it for me. I can't remember how much I bought it for. The second last thing that you might need is a setting spray. Setting spray helps to increase the longevity of your makeup. I use the Makeup Fix Kiss Beauty setting spray and if you pick up a setting spray, it will reveal a secret that I have. You might want to, to remove your makeup. For removing your makeup, if you don't have money for makeup wipes or those micellar water, micellar water is I think 1500 it's expensive and I don't have that money. It's expensive. You can just use coconut oil, you apply upanguze, then wash your face with soap and water because you don't want to have coconut oil on your face. That's all. And what else? I just create a playlist that you can go step by step. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video and if you haven't subscribed, What are you still doing? Imagine, no. Why, why, why are you not subscribed? Why? Why? Oh. Anyway, for those who joined today, thank you so much for joining and thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. for my subscribers. Now I'm pen, now I'm pen, now I'm pen. And till then, it's bye bye for me. Do you want to Bye and I love you.